Hi everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to get 5 fun nail designs all inspired by trolls. The first design is a gradient inspired by Satin and Chenille's hair, so I'll be applying a pink for the base color. Then I'm going to border my nail with tape to help protect the skin. I'll be applying pink, purple, and blue to a makeup sponge, then sponging onto the nail to transfer the color. It should apply easily. I'm going to repeat the previous steps again to blend the colors more to get that gradient effect. Once you're done, remove the tape from around the nail. You can clean up any excess polish that got on the skin with a flat brush dipped into polish remover. Now apply a layer of top coat for an extra glossy finish. The next design is a fun sparkly wavy rainbow. I'll be applying a silver for the base color. Then I'm going to draw a red wavy line across the middle of the nail. I'm going to do the same thing with an orange shade just below the red, and again with a yellow color. Of course we have to add some green in there too. And don't forget the lighter blue and navy blue. Now finish the rainbow with purple and pink. Seal it all in with a layer of top coat. Now this rock and roll look is inspired by Barb, I'm going to apply a brownish polish for the base color. Then I'm going to draw diagonal white lines that crisscross to create a fishnet pattern. I'll be using a black to follow the same fishnet pattern but making sure I don't fully cover the previous white lines. I'm going to go in with a red to draw lightning bolt shapes to add a pop of color. Once dry, I'm adding a layer of gloss. This next design is inspired by Poppy's pretty flowers so I'm going to apply a pink for the base color. Then I'll be creating petals with a blue color to shape multiple flowers across the entire nail. Now with the green, I'm going to create little leaves in between the flower petals. I'll be using a black to outline the petals first, then the leaves. A fun hack is to use acrylic crafting paint for details like this since it's a lot easier to work with. Once finished with outlining, I'm going to add a small little line in the middle of each leaf. Then I'm going to add a dot of black in the middle of the flowers, and once that is dry, I'll be adding another dot of yellow to finish the flower look. Now it's time for top coat. And finally, the last look is inspired by Guy Diamond's glitter and green, so I'm going to apply a bright green for the base color. I'll be applying a silver glitter to the edge of a makeup sponge and sponging onto the tip of the nail first. Then I'm going to begin to lightly sponge down the nail so that it creates a glitter gradient effect. And of course, don't forget the gloss. So that does it for this video, I hope you enjoyed watching these 5 fun nail designs inspired by trolls.